Let's have a look at how to set up a track in After Effects. I've got this clip down here of a woman on a rowing machine. I've carefully edited that just so it looks like it's continuous loop. And what we want to do is we want to track her movement. So what I'd always suggest in After Effects before you start tracking is go up layer, new, make yourself a null object. Once we've done our tracking, we're going to apply it to that null object and then uh, we can go and move whatever we link to that null object very easily. I'm going to rename the null object, so select it, hit return, I'll call this woman null. And then I want to select the clip and then I want to go and set up my track. So I'm going to go to animation, track motion. And uh, because I've made a null and selected the clip, the track motion panel appears, but it's already done most of what we want to do. We've already told it to track motion. It already knows to come from the uh, clip called Gym Session 34. And uh, it also knows to do a position track. And because the null is at the top of the stack, it's going to automatically apply it to the null. Of course, I could change the layer it applies it to here, but uh, I want to keep it to that one. So now I want to go and define the area that I want to track. So that is symbolized by this track point here. I've got the outer box and the inner box. The inner box is known as the feature region. Uh, I can resize that. And basically, inside that box is where I want to find an area to track. Now, After Effects is going to use contrast to track. So I want to find an area that's quite contrasty to track. Uh, I'm going to track maybe the back of the head here, the neck and the shirt meet. There's a decent amount of contrast there to get us probably a good track. And the outside box here, this is the search region. So this is the pixels it's going to search for on a frame by frame basis. I want to make that uh, kind of a little bit wider than it is high because she's of course moving backwards and forwards. And that's my track point set up. It's kind of important to do it at the first frame if you're going to track forwards. And then uh, we don't have to worry about any of the other options here. We can just go down to the analyze option and go and start to analyze one frame at a time. You can see as I click, it's moving the track point, the region of interest, and it's going to do that each frame. Now you can use this button to play it through, but you'll see that it often jumps off. It's not as accurate. So if I move it back to where it was doing a decent job, so around about here, if I go one frame at a time, if it jumps off, I can go and correct it. So if I go to the next frame, that's okay. The next frame, well, you can see already, it's actually doing a better job frame by frame. Here it's gone off. So I'm just gonna say, oh, actually no, just have it there. And that one's gone off as well. It often struggles with motion blur. So you can see there's quite a bit of motion blur in this bit of movement. So I'm gonna just go and do that frame by frame, adjust it if I need to. And then she should pretty much return back to where she started, which is there. Uh, once I'm happy with that, of course, if it's gone wrong, I'll go back and make adjustments. When I'm happy with the track and I can check there and see it, that's looking pretty good. Uh, I must go and hit the apply button. So if I hit apply, it's gonna ask me, do you want to apply this to the X and the Y dimensions, which of course I do. I'll say, okay, and now it's applied it. If I select the null, I can see the null now is going to be stuck onto the movement of the woman. Um, but a null is not a visible object, so that's not really a whole lot of use. Uh, what I can do instead is go and make a layer and link it to the null. So I'm just gonna quickly grab my type tool and I'm just gonna type, uh, what should I type? I'll just type T, for example. Just uh, scale that up. like so. Uh, now, the T layer has got nothing in relation to the uh, video clip at the moment. All I need to do is link it to the null. So I'm going to go parent link uh, none to woman null. And now wherever the null goes, the text layer will follow. There we go. So I can play that back. Now, the great thing about linking layers is my woman null has got lots of keyframes on it. 
my text layer has got no keyframes on it. Uh, I can now make more copies of this text there. I'll just press Command D to make a duplicate and say I'll have one over this side and maybe Command D again and say let's go and put one up here. And now they're all linked to the woman null in a kind of relative sort of way. So now if I play it back, they are now moving with her movement. She's of course moving forwards and backwards. They are taking that movement from her, which the tracking is done. So it's very quick to process now. And obviously I can integrate anything I want into this shot. In this case, I've just put in some text. In most cases, I'm going to put in some graphics or some, or some effects. So that's how to do a one point track in After Effects.